are the rest of the protesters, Mrs. Feckham and Lord Cheswick. They'll be psyched when we tell them that Sir Toby's hunt failed. Jim mutter, what happened to your leg? <laughs> you have a unibrow. Mm, this lot have been in here all morning, yammering about their precious foxes. You can tell none of them have ever tried to raise chickens in these parts. My mate Harry's had a devil of a time with the blasted vermin. They've burrowed under every fence he's ever built and made off with some of his prize hens. Egg-laying hens, mind you, not cheap. He's laid traps and stayed up nights with his shotgun, but he's never caught the blighters. Some of us don't feel sorry, a bit sorry. Well, just start over. Some of us don't feel a bit sorry when hunting season comes around. A disaster, was it? How marvelous. Oh, I bet Sir Toby is livid. Yeah. Serves him right, I say. Imagine grown men and women running a great big pack of hounds against a poor little fox. Despicable. I dare say Sir Toby was a bit put off by our dramatics this morning. Perhaps our little play worked on his nerves a bit and so threw off his hunt. Lord Cheswick, Ray Maring, and I met, her and met him and his riders out early this morning as the hunt began, dressed as foxes ourselves, and pleaded for his mercy. You know, I wonder what happened to those fox costumes. Like, did the Cheswicks take him back to their place and they had, like, a little party later with them? Like, you know, kinky fox sex. Yeah, Pomeroy knows all about the furries. You should have seen the look on his stuffy old face. Horribly embarrassing for all his toffee-nosed friends as well. The fox escaped. Well done. Foxes are fascinating wild creatures. I'm not in favor of hunting them myself. I think it's cruel to pit one animal against a pack of larger beasts, but I didn't interfere with their fox hunt. But your wife did, you fucking liar. Dear Mrs. Beckham and I made our quiet protest against Sir Toby's estate. Wait, it's like Sir Toby owns Pomeroy and Habersham? Then retired to the smugglers inn to wait out the hunt. Ray Marine protested with us this morning. Charming girl, you stay away from her. I believe she had a riding lesson afterwards. She dashed, dashed off right away. Alright, let's solve this motherfucker. It's time to outfox the person who peppered the hounds. Pick the clues that you think best show who Aunt Miranda should interview for her story on foiling fox hunts. Oh, Chelsea was like so gratuitous in this one. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite thing. I wish I could choose it. Near Sir Toby, all through the hunt. Okay. Tom says it. Do 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 do. Yay! Those are the clues we needed. Now point out the person that you think is responsible for ruining Sir Toby's fox hunt. Oops, I did the music too soon. Do 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 do! You're right! It was Lady Cheswick who foiled Sir, Torby, Sir Toby's fox hunt. Lord Pomeroy told us that he and the hounds followed the fox's trail to the patch of bushes by Hound Tour, where all the dogs suddenly started sneezing and lost the trail. Flecka, Lord Pomeroy's horse, was covered in burrs from those bushes. We found what put the dogs off right in the middle of the patch of bird-filled bushes. Pounds and pounds of cayenne pepper spilled right over the fox's trail. Pounds and pounds! The hoof prints around the bushes showed that a horse with a shoe marked Z, a horse with a shoe marked BB, and a pony without shoes had been in the bushes after the fox. Ray Marine protested the fox hunt, and she was riding her pony that day. But her pony, Raja, has shoes. Ray told us about the wild ponies that roam the moors. A wild pony wouldn't have shoes on its hoofs. That would account for those small, unshod hoof prints. 
Jack Smith told us that he had shot Flucka, Lord Pomeroy's horse, with his shoe marked C. That accounts for the Z of Prince. He also told us that a smith named Brian Bear had shot a horse named Tullum. Lady Cheswick's horse is a black stallion named Tullum. Hmm, what a coincidence. He was covered with burrs, just like those on Lord Pomeroy's horse. Maybe they were just in the bushes together, you know? It was his hoof prints marked BB for Brian Bear that we saw in the bushes around the dumped bag of cayenne pepper. Tullum was there because Lady Cheswick had chased the fox there to dump the pepper on its trail. You little bitch. Yay, go away, Jake. Did I tell you you could touch my scrapbook? Animal rights activists made a stand at Sir Toby Uppingham's annual fox hunt yesterday through sabotage. When faced with evidence collected by Eagle Eye Sleuth, Carson Drew, Lady Sarah Cheswick promptly confessed to dumping a sack of cayenne pepper onto the fox's trail in order to confuse the hounds. I'm rather pleased that Carson and Jennifer worked it out. It gives me a chance to make it clear that I despise cruel sports and value the lives of our wild British creatures, like your husband, said Lady Cheswick. Now that hunters know that members of their own hunts might be working in the fox's favor, I hope the oops, I'm supposed to do the accent. <coughs> now that hunters know that members of their own hunts might be working in the fox's favor, I hope they'll think twice before spending their money on fox hunting, said Lady Cheswick. And then she invited Sir Toby over and apologized. With the sex party. 